for those going through detox, the detox process, um, try to just hold on for the ride. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. And it's true. It's a tough process. There's no way around it. It just is what it is. I mean, most of the people that I went through the program with are gone now and they're now trainees. Um, but I spent many, many, many nights in the lounge there, um, out on the couches, just, just getting through it, doing whatever I had to do. Um, and a lot of people helped me along the way. When you get those unwanted feelings, try not to fight them. Embrace the opportunity to finally even be able to feel once again. This is a sign of growth. Cry once in a while. It feels good. I'm a pretty emotional guy. I'm up and down all the time. And there were days where, mostly Sundays, that's when it really hits me. Um, that's a rough one for me. Because, you know, Monday through Saturday, they keep us pretty busy. And, uh, but Sunday, those, those feelings start flooding in and I would find someone or I would go down to the hook and just, just cry it out, you know? I'm not a, I'll admit that. I, it feels good. I haven't cried in probably 15 years, I don't think. So, you know, whatever you gotta do. When you start feeling up to it, get into whatever physical exercise you can and push yourself because growth, growth will happen on all levels. And leaving here looking good and feeling, leave here looking good and feeling the best you can. Um, that was a big one for me. Obviously we come in here, we're not in the best health often, um, but it started out with a buddy of mine, Alec, that was here a long, long time ago. We would just do laps, laps around here and then slowly got into yoga and then into CrossFit and that really made a big difference. And it just feels good to, to, to leave here looking good, you know? Take your time while in class. Pull every bit of insight and wisdom you can from it. You never know when a certain exercise or sentence might just resonate with you and get you to look at your challenges in a different light. Um, yeah, there's a lot of book work here, a lot of writing, and you just take what you can from it. Some things, you know, you kind of, you, you, you naturally just tend to discard, but some will, they'll, they'll stick with you. And um, whether it's something out of the book or something someone says in these, you know, the staff says, there's times where I just, it, it changed my whole outlook on things. And it, and it really helped me get through some tough times. Call your family and friends when you're, when you're feeling up to it. I really think it's important them, for them to re, uh, recognize your growth. And for me, it put them at ease knowing that I'm doing my best, best that I can each and every day. Um, yeah, I didn't, I, I waited quite a while to, to talk to my family just because it, it's sometimes it's hard to notice the change in you while you're kind of going through it day to day. But um, by waiting, you know, till I, I felt like I had made some, some, some good progress, um, they did, they recognized it in my voice and they said, you know, you sound clear, you sound good. And that's kind of where, I wasn't up to amends yet, but that's kind of where that re rebuilding process started. And uh, just check in with them, you know, we've got a lot of people came here, not on their own, but with the support of family, friends, whoever. So just recognize them and, and, and make them feel good about it. And then most of all, just uh, most of all, be a friend to both the other clients and staff. Nobody here has an easy journey ahead of them, but together we only become stronger when we band together. And, uh, and this one is so true. It's, I've seen a lot, of, in a hundred days, you get to see a lot of people come and go. Um, a lot of good people, the, the most solid people I've ever met. And, um, you know, like I say, every day is different for me. It's up and down, but every time I went down, there was someone here, multiple people to bring me up and uh, I would not be here without them. Um, and then I guess, I, I just a win for myself. I have, I have a tendency to take things to like, uh, you know, the 99% and then just crash and burn. But this time I did it, I'm here. I know a lot of people didn't know if I would make it to this point, but I did, I just toughed it out. And, and I really do want to make a good change in my life. And I believe everyone sitting here can. So good for you guys too, you know, just do whatever it takes to get through this and, and change your life around, you know? We believe that you should empower the individual mm -hmm. and that we need to show them what went wrong and then give them their power back so that they can tackle addiction as an issue and overcome that. With your program, how successful are you? And so we track them all the way through the program and then after the program. And last year we ranked number one in the entire nation based off of success and overall results. So if people wanted to get more information, where do they go? ElevateRehab.org.